chop. Bro, Jack behind the lens. Yeah. Tell them where we at, man. Man, we in the east, man. You know, I can't give you the motherfucking exact location, but we in the east. You know, pull up, man. They pulled up on one of the pull up kings, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Pull up, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to the breeze. We here, though, man. Black then. So we in the east Oakland right now, huh? Yes, sir. So what was, what was it like growing up out here? Oh, man, you know, it was, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Just like any other... Uh, in the other city, man, you know, it was fun. You know, you see shit, you know. Uh, if you out here, if you if you really outside at a young age, you'll see shit, you know what I'm saying, that you ain't supposed to be seeing, you know. But uh, you adapt to shit, you know, as you get older. You know, either you're going to stay in the same spot or you're going to keep wiggling, you know what I'm saying, and pull up to wherever you got to go. But it was fun, though, man. You know, it was fun growing up in the town. Um, you know, the sideshow shit, all that, you know, it originated in the town, um, right up the street from, where, you know, from from the hood, you know, on 88th and Hillside. It was right on, we used to see them motherfuckers riding by, so it was fun growing up in the town, man. It was hella fun growing up in Oakland. Yeah. What was the day like growing up when you was younger? Shit. Well, when I started fucking around and shit, the day was just like me going... You know what I'm saying? Because I stayed in the dead end on Hillside, right behind Castle, Castle Mount. So, I go down the street. I used to hang out on in between Hillside and Dallas. But just right there, in between Mac and Hillside, just be over there fucking around. So, just go out there, be out there all day, um, fucking around, you know. Back then, niggas, that's what I'm saying, though, like, Nowadays, people <clears throat> people claim shit, and they rep, you know, they be like, I'm from here, I'm from there, and, you, you know, you can't, to each his own, but back then, when you when you said you was from a certain block, you really had to be outside, you know what I'm saying, you had to be, it was no social media shit, it was none of that, like, if you saying you from the 88th, and whatever, you know, you're gonna pull up, you're gonna see niggas out there, used to be a flock of niggas out there, you know, and uh, just go hang out, bro, be out there till like 12, then go back home. That was a day in the life, and it was just having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even rapping like that. I would, I would, music wasn't even, I don't even think I was thinking about music when I was out there fucking around like that. Yeah. But uh, it was fun, though. Hell yeah. What's the difference between your section then and your section now? I mean, nobody's outside. You could ride through there. You probably see a couple people out there still still thugging, doing whatever they're supposed to be doing, but back then, it, it's it's more of a, uh, 5-0 wouldn't even trip like that back then. Cause I remember being out there, and you had, you had a, a few niggas that would be on Hillside, then you had the OGs that'd be in the middle, and then you had the young niggas that'd be like on uh, on the Dowling side. So it used to be hella niggas outside, then you had the niggas in the dead end, they, they always was live in there, it was always jumping in the dead end. I stayed in the dead end, but I didn't hang out over there. I hang, you know what I'm saying, around the corner from the dead end. But it was always live, bro. And then now if you ride through there, it ain't how it was. Like, it's it's dry. Like, you probably see a couple niggas standing out there, you feel me, that's it. Back then, everybody was outside though, huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody was outside. You had niggas from out of town pulling up to the hood, like. 5-0 used to ride through, but they never like fucked around like that. Then certain niggas started going down, so I don't know, niggas probably, you know, was on some other shit and, and they started bouncing out on niggas. I remember I remember my brother and my my brother and my nigga Chema used to tell me like, you need to stop hanging out there, you feel me? It's getting too hot. I'm like, oh man, I'm just, man, it's rolling out here. And then I think probably when they told me a couple of days after nigga five oh bounced out on us, like, whoa. Through the bundle and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I thought about that shit. Like, oh shit! Like you know, he did just tell. He started to get hot. It's different now, though, man. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ride through there, you gonna see, man. You feel me? But it, it's 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 the hood, though. That's that's the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's the block. Like you know what I'm saying? I could always go back. It's not a problem. When you was uh, younger, who was some of your role models? Like in the music shit, just in, you know, in general, anybody on, you know what I mean, out there. Well, not even so anybody older, music. yeah, not even music. Shit, just like my brother and shit. You feel me? Like the nigga was always like a hard worker type of shit. So, like he was one of the ones I, you know, he anything he'll do, I try to do type of shit. Yeah. Cause that's big, bro. You feel me? 
Mm. Shit, just bruh, man, you feel me? And then got to the music shit, like, you know, we, it's crazy, because I said it before, like, the niggas we used to listen to back then, like, I know them, you feel me? Like, like if I was to see them, like, face to face, you know, they'd be like, chop, what's up with it? And it's crazy, because niggas grew up listening to that shit, you feel me? But, uh, like, you know, like the old school, like, E-40, you know what I'm saying? Be legit. Like, I met Be Legit through Sido. Yeah. You know, Sido fuck with him. But I, who don't listen to, who don't know Be Legit? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, yeah, you know, like, in the music, Be Legit, E-40, the Richie Rich. I just met uh, Richie Rich in Oklahoma. Like, you oh, feel me, nigga? Recently? We, yeah, like, we from the town, but met him in Oklahoma. We got, uh, we had a show out in Oklahoma. And then, uh, um, he performed. Came down, said what's up, woo woo woo. Feel me? Then we had a meet and greet the next day, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's dope, you feel me? Like listening to to some of these artists and shit, and then later on, act, you know what I'm saying? Like, I say when we see each other, it's, you know what I'm saying, is acknowledgement and be like, what's up with it, bro? Like, you know, go out of their way to say what's up and shake your hands, type of shit. So that's some type of respect. You know? Yeah. But yeah. So how has being from out here affected your music? How? Say that again. How has being from Oakland have an influence on your music? Being from the town? Yeah. I mean, shit. I don't know. Uh, I mean, because I feel like the music now is not just even just town shit. You feel me? Like, it's about how you get around with it. But being from, I mean, it's the same like you. You know, you from San Jose, sim similarities. You feel me? Like, from the 925, there's similarities everywhere. But I mean, being from the town is just the, the town game. You feel me? The, the town business shit. Like, and I said, I said it in a few songs. Like you gonna hear this town business shit on every song. But it's just the way niggas are. You feel me? So the town got a big influence because that's why I'm from. It's my city, and that's where I learned the game from. So, but go all around with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like take this shit, nigga, out of town, out of state with it, type of shit. But you know, the town is the town. Huh? How was the side shows back then? Nigga, back then, it was no social media. Keep that in mind. No social media. So I'm gonna tell you like this. So we used to be on 88th and Hillside. So Mac is the next block up. So you know, the side shows, you know, for those that don't know back then, I'm pretty sure still to this day, it go from High Street all the way down, it's you know, a uh, uh, foothill turns into to Mac on 73rd. So, all the way down 73rd to 106. Them was the points. That them was the sideshow spots. Everywhere they'll go down, like you know, the gas stations, nigga, cars is packed out. You feel me, type of shit. So when we'll be out on 88th chilling, you can see the whips. Flying niggas, I swear to God, it was days we'd be out there. All you see is be like, damn, did you just <laughs> nigga? And then another call. So it's like we'll see, we'll see when it was cranking. So then we'll go, we jump in the whiz boom, we'll catch up with them back to back, you know. But it, back then, I don't know. I feel like it was more uh, motherfuckers wasn't really tripping like that back then. Like of course you seen a few niggas get their head bust and shit. Like you know you seen a few niggas getting stripped and all that shit, but. It wasn't like, <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like nowadays everybody got a gun, you feel me? Everybody got their gun out, like, you feel me? So it's like, I ain't knocking it, you feel me? Like, you gotta have your protection and shit, but everybody got a gun. That's like if we all go to the sun show, we all got our guns out, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker might trip and then fall on you and then you shoot the nigga and it was just like, damn, like, nigga just tripped on you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Nowadays it's a little, I feel like it's a little more dangerous, you know, if you out there, it's dangerous, you feel me? That's why you enter at your own risk when you go to the side show, you feel me? But I feel like back then it was a little more fun, more like a, 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 a you know, niggas get together and shit, you know, ride back to back, you know, slapping, you know, swerving, doors open type of shit. Nowadays, everybody hanging out the car with the guns out and shit, you feel me? So. I mean, they still have fun, though. They be going down. Like, I've seen this shit go go global, you feel me? Like, you see everybody doing side shows now. But, it's you know, it's, it's wild, you know what I'm saying? But that's just the way it is, you know? 
Uh, but back then, I feel it was more, more, more fun. You feel me? As in for me, it was more fun. You know, motherfuckers go out, have a good time. You bounce out. You can walk. You know, motherfuckers doing side shows until the tires go out. I don't know. Nowadays, nigga, you gotta be on your toes. You gotta have your gun out. <laughs> you know, if you go to the side shows, that's the fact. What the cops? Cops be tripping out here? Shit. I mean, if they see you, they, you feel me? They, they gonna get on you. Like, if they see you, they if they see you doing something, they gonna get on you. But if you keep it smooth. And then know where to know what streets to, you know what I'm saying? Slide yeah. through like oh, I could tell you, oh, I can run all through back streets for it. But I think they'd be cool, you know. It's, if they know who you is, they gonna fuck with you. If they know who you is, they gonna they gonna be on you. But if you keeping it, you know, keep it smooth, nigga. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with you. What about uh, the craziest stories you had coming out? Like what in the as music? A kid, no, oh, as, as a kid. kid? I was just telling my my girl about it. I mean, it, 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 uh, we stayed in the Dubs, right, like on 22nd, and it was a corner house. I didn't do it though. You know what I'm saying, but I said, as a kid, I was a little kid. We was young. We was youngsters. So the lady in the corner house had like uh, she had like cats and shit, hella cats. And then somebody, I don't know who it was, I guess, went and put a dog inside of the. Uh, Inside of that, inside of the gate, you feel me? And it was all, you know, it used to be cats. Cause the lady, I don't know, I don't know if she had, she had hella cats in her house too, but it was hella cats outside. Then we heard, nigga, that the it's a dog that was trying to eat the cats, so we go over there, and then, uh, uh, nigga, the dog had killed like four cats, nigga. <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck, like, nigga, like it was like three, four cats, they was dead, nigga. The dog was trying to tear more up and shit. And then the dog, I don't know if the dog was the neighbor's, nigga, the dog was the neighbor's dog or some shit like that. And it was a pit, I think, nigga, and that motherfucker. We was kids, though, nigga, I was like, God damn, that motherfucker chewed up four cats, nigga, like, fuck. But that shit was a little mamey, you know what I'm saying, as a kid, seeing that shit. Um, but, I mean, shit, as, as I got older, I remember one time we was riding, you know, it was cranking, the side show was cranking. And we heading towards, uh, I think we heading towards like seminary or something. And then it's, it ain't moving. So it ain't moving, everybody just, you know, doors open, whoa, whoa, everybody slapping. And then the car starts to move a little bit. When we get to seminary, it was a nigga laid out on the floor with his head leaking. I was like, what the fuck? And then they said, I guess Brian got shot or some bullshit like that. But we seen that shit. When we got to seminary, you seen bro laid out on the floor. Like hella blood like by the head and shit. I'm like, damn. Nigga, I was like, shit, nigga, like, you feel me? That's the type of shit, you feel me, that go down. You feel me? who knows what happened? Like, I don't know what happened to bruh, like, what was the reason behind it, but I seen bruh laid out on the floor. And that shit was crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? That was at a side show, nigga. What about the corner store? What was, the, uh, what was your go-to corner store growing up? Uh, Shit, we used to walk to uh, uh, Harry's on 9 0. We used to walk up there, pull up over there. And we used to go to A6, to the smoke shop on A6. It was another store like on Birch. I think it was on Birch in 87. They closed it down. We used to be all around there, go down to Food King on E1. Um, we used to be all up and down the hood. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever area we was in, nigga, we would just be like, I'll pull up right here real quick. You know what I'm saying? What about food spots? Food spots in the town? Uh. I'm going to give y'all my spots real quick. For me, the taco truck on Fruitville, uh, it's a uh, Guadalajara taco truck. That's, what, that's the only taco truck I fuck with. Um... 
has it for burgers. I used to fuck with Ben's back then, up before it got bought out, I think. I used to fuck with Ben's Burger. There's another spot down the street called Jerry's Burger. That spot's pretty good, too. Uh, but that's about it, about the food spots. I be going out, out the way and eating shit, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I gotta go to the same old yeah. type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, try different shit. But the town got some, I mean, shit, you do some digging, they got some shit, though. You know? But them the spots I fuck with, like, that I go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, that I be pulling up to. Like, you know, the ones. Yeah. What about, uh, when you was younger, where'd you go get clothes from? Uh, when, when I was younger, shit, we used to probably used to go to, like, what? The flea market? You know what I'm saying? Get, like, shirts from the flea market type of shit. Like, uh, moms would go to to the Mexican store or something, you feel me? Or mine will go to like Ross type of shit. You know, like, you know, like, I wasn't really, I wasn't really picky like that, you know what I'm saying? Until I got to a certain age, till I started wearing white tees and shit. And once I started getting white tees and black tees, it was, it was mine was all like, stop buying them motherfuckers. This should have be full of black tees and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, then the summer hit, nigga, be white tees and shit until I started making my own shit, you know what I'm saying? So. But yeah, you know, just regular shit, you know, like yeah. with nothing picky, like no. Niggas kids can be picky, you feel me? Get what you, you know, you get what you get, nigga. Like, as long as you have something, you know what I'm saying? How has uh, East Oakland changed from when you was growing up to now? Ah, shit. That's a good question. I think now there's a lot of violence going on. There's a lot of killings going on. Like, I'm saying you might not hear about everything, but it's a lot of shit going on. You know, like niggas getting smacked, all type of shit. You know, back then, man, I don't know. Back then, you ain't really, you ain't really, it wasn't really all like that. I mean, niggas was getting smacked and shit. You know, people, but it wasn't like back to back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying like you get this shit back to back to back. To back. Kind of like, damn, like, you know, I, I don't know, man. I think there's a lot of violence going on, you feel me? Like, it's always been violence, but I think it's, it's up there, you feel me? It's, that's the difference between, you know, back then and now. I feel everything else is still, you know, people still doing their shit, though. Like, people still out there doing their thing. Like, don't don't get it fucked up, but they still, you know what I'm saying? Like, a hustler always going to be a hustler, but... I feel that's the difference. A lot of violence going on. Yeah. What's one thing that people don't know about East Oakland? Uh, one thing they don't know about the town? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean... <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, nigga, the town. I don't know, shit. Nigga, the town got the best taco spot. <laughs> I don't know, shit. You know what I'm saying? The town got the best taco spot, man. You know, and if you want to come out on the weekend, man, you might just bump into the side show. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one thing about the town. You know what I'm saying? Best taco spot come on the weekend, you might bump into the side show, you know what I'm saying? But just remember, it's at your own risk, you know what I'm saying? And uh, some people love that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the town for you. That's town business, you feel me? Like, you come out here and chill though, man. The, the taco spot, man. And there's a lot of motherfuckers out here too, though, that's talented too, though, you know what I'm saying? From the town. A lot of people that's talented from over there. As how'd you, well, how'd you get your name? Uh, shit, man. Uh, I came up with it. Uh, so look, I said this is another one, right? So my family called they call me Chapo. That's my nickname, Chapo. Hey, come to Chapo. You feel me? That's my dad, my mom, and shit. My brother, like my partners and shit. <laughs> they call me Chapo. So at the time. I was doing this shit. I was like, I couldn't. I didn't want to be named like Chapo, like 
I don't know, I just didn't want to be that. Like, I didn't want that to be my my artist name. You feel me? Like, I can't be chopper on type of shit. Like, so then I was just like, all right. And then at that time, it was the Youngs going on. So I just, you feel me, adapted to that. And then I was just like, I, mean, I can't be Young Chapo, so I'm just going to be Young Chop. And then I ran with it. And then still to this day, nigga, I'm still mobbing with that. <laughs> you feel yeah. me? That's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still, and yeah, that's how I came up with that shit. You know, and then, uh, yep. What music you got out right now that they could look up? Brand new EP just dropped. Trust Nobody EP uh, produced by Tuck and Playboy. Um, brand new video out off the uh, project called In The Game. Five songs. That's the latest shit. Yeah. The latest shit that's out, man. Um, follow me on everything else, man. You can listen to everything else. It's, it's a whole bunch of music, though. Before all that as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, plenty of music niggas to tune in to, back to back type of shit. How fast does it take you to write a verse? It depends. So if the beat, if the beat like slapping hella hard, I'll probably do that shit like that. Like, probably like 30 minutes or an hour if the beat slapping. You feel me? But then if the, sometimes it be slap, but then I gotta take my time when it might be like a little, you know what I'm saying? Like depending on the vibe and shit, yo. If I'm fucking with it like that, like 30 minutes to an hour, like, whip it up, man. Hit somebody, go, like, come record it. Like, you feel me? Or hit the artist and be like, hey man, book some studio time, you feel me? Go knock it down. How you vibe out in the studio then with your smoke, you know? Yeah, I mean, just, uh, Go in there, you feel me? Slap the shit. Uh, probably smoke a blunt. Drink some shit. You know, I need to be dehydrated. Cotton yeah. mouth. Drink some shit. Try to stay hydrated. Then go in there, knock it down. Oh, cause I go in there and do like do do like one take Jake's, nigga. I don't know. I go in there, record it, woo, next, and I'm done. Like I don't. I listen to it, and then if I don't gotta go back, you know what I'm you saying? I'm on. Yeah, hey, I'm on to the next. Like. I don't like to go back. Like if I go to the studio, I'm I'm leaving with the song already done. Like I don't want to come back and then have to add to the song or be like, all right, let me redo that. It's not gonna have the same energy. I don't know. That's how I feel. It won't have the same energy as you know what I'm saying. As the other. So yeah, you're gonna be on a whole different hype and shit. You don't exactly. Like, it's a whole different day. Different. You feel me? It's a whole different energy. It don't matter like if you. If I, it don't matter if I know it already. But it's a whole different day, so the energy ain't gonna be exactly the same type of shit. So I try to just knock it out the same day. Like, fast. Because I don't be in the studio for more than two hours. Like, I try not to, because I feel like after that, like, because it don't take long to do a song. No. It'll be his vibe and go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How you choose your collabs? Uh, I mean, Certain people, certain people hit me, you feel me, they, 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 uh, DM me or whatever and they be, you know, tap in and then, you know, I, I go back and forth depending on who it is and shit and then just, sometimes I tap in with certain people that they say they know just to like kind of, you know, can't do features with everybody, you feel me, so. I, I check in with certain people and be like, what's up, you know, woo woo, they be like, yeah, you good, so then I do the feature type of shit, but sometimes people pay for the features, you feel yeah. me, if they pay, you know, I, I still kind of, you got to do your research, you know, hey, money ain't good, money, so you still got to do your research before you take that, you feel me, but I be doing features and shit too for random people, but it just got to happen, like, like, Organically type of shit like all the EPs and shit I done you know like Slido, uh, Molly, you feel me? Uh, you really fuck with them? Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Like I fuck with them niggas. Like I'm supposed to go meet Slido after this shit. <laughs> you feel me? So like it just gotta be, it just gotta happen type of shit. You feel me? So. so what's your goals? My goals. Man, it's to uh, keep it lit, man. 
I ain't gonna say no exact shit, just to keep it moving. And, uh, you know, everybody at the end of the day, man, we trying to get this money off this music shit, you know, but it goes with, you gotta promote this shit to get money off this shit, you feel me? Like, you can't just drop a project and, you feel me, expect to get rich, nigga, so. I don't know, the goal is to make money off this music shit, man. You know, I really, really, because we do this shit for real, you feel me? Like, this is our job. Like, you feel me? Like, the, the verses, pulling up and performing, like, this is, this is our job. Like, this is what we choose to do, so. The goal is to get paid off this shit, like, really get paid off this shit. Like, yeah, we get checks here and there from the uh, distribution, you feel me? Of course, we get checks here and there, but, you know, we trying to, like, I feel like at the end of the day, you know, if if it ain't popping somewhere, you got to go somewhere else and get this shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Where they going to tune into this shit and really, you know, really, sometimes you got to move around with it. So the goal is to make money off this shit. Get it off this shit, you know? Like, all this shit we doing, all this, all this time and, and, and time and everything, dedication we put to this music shit, like... We gotta get paid off this shit, you feel me? Like, this is our job, so that's the goal, nigga. Yeah. Get, you know what I'm saying? Get this money off this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got another album planned already, too? I mean, shit, I ain't got no, uh, Keep It 100. I got hella songs. So I can put, so, I just dropped that EP with, with uh, Tuck and Playboy. So my next one, I got five more songs I could drop. And then, uh, I got some covers, so I don't even know if y'all peep. All the covers I've been, all the, everything I've been dropping, I did the covers to that shit. You make the covers? Yeah, yeah, you feel me? I did my own covers, you feel me? Like, drop that shit. Touch nobody, I did that shit, you know, so. Uh, when you do it on a laptop? Uh, on my phone. Okay. We got free game. Did this shit on my phone, man. You feel me? But, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I got some man. I ain't got no 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 act, you know, no name name for the projects, but yeah, I do got more music that I'm getting ready to drop and uh I'm just waiting for people to tune in to this new shit and get, you know, get a certain amount of traffic, a certain amount of streams and shit in order for me to drop another project. But I got some shit though. For sure. Lined up. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For real. Tell us about your uh, merch. Man, you know, uh, it's Shady Mob Clothing, man. You know, uh, established 2013, you know, uh, still to this day, man. It's 2022, still pushing, as you can see. And, uh, uh, yeah, man, you know, the Shady Boys, the Migos in the hood, uh, town business. Uh, I'm from Oakland. Uh, what else, man? A whole bunch of other shit, you feel me? It's all... Shady mob clothing, you know, and and uh, we mobbing, we still mobbing. It's a it's a uh, it's an online store, you know, and as well for the people that tune in, they already know, you know, just go on Instagram, tune in, and and, and you might get it delivered same day, man. Better than Prime, you feel me? With we the pull, pull up, up. Yeah. better than Prime with the pull up. We are, you know, it's the pull up show, but like I said, it's one of the pull up kings, so. Line it up, we can pull up. But it's Shady Mob Clothing, man. We've been rocking, we still rocking. And you know, uh, yeah, man, shit. Follow it on Instagram, Shady Mob Clothing. And tune in, shadymob.com, all that shit, all that good shit. How'd you come up with the designs? Uh, shit, man, uh, just being high, bro. you feel me? Just being loaded. Uh, I mean, Amigos in the hood, you feel me? Of course, it's from the boys in the hood, but Amigos in the hood, I think we was chilling and shit, and then uh, one of my niggas was all like, he be saying Migo and shit a lot, so then, uh, he was like, why don't, why don't you just say Migos in the hood? So then, flipped it to Migos in the hood, and then, you know, that was that. Shady Boys is a classic, you know, from the Coke Boys, flipped it to Shady Boys. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And just, Flooded the flooded the Bay Area with this shady boy shit, nigga. Like, 
whole Bay Area, nigga, flooded it with the Shady Boy shit. I'm from um, Oakland, what was everywhere too? I'm man. from Oakland, was you know, it's just some town shit. Uh, it had the A's, I had the A's colors, then I had the Raider colors. Uh, um, had hella shit. The town business Warriors, town business Raiders. Uh, <laughs> had, had hella shit, man. The whole jogger fit shit, you know, the snapbacks. It's my nigga AO shit, RIP 80s baby. My nigga AO, but the snapbacks, uh, everything, nigga, we hoodies, nigga, we flooded the streets with this shit, nigga. Pull up, pull up everywhere type of shit. You know, I pulled up on this nigga a few times, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> pulled up, nigga, with a trunk. Pop ups before there was pop ups, yeah. Trunk full of shit, nigga. Trunk and the backseat full of shit, nigga. Like, what you, what you was trying to get, nigga? Like, what? But yeah, though. Any new designs coming? Uh, shit, man. I I I've been trying to uh, trying to work on new items and shit. You feel me? Uh, I ain't got nothing nothing drawn up like that. But we still got the shit. You know, we still got the Migos in the hood. We got the Shady Boy shit. You know, it's, it's classic shit. Like shit been selling since 2013, nigga. Yeah. Shady Boy shirts. Shady Boy shirts been selling since 2013. Probably 10 years. Nigga, Come on. what? Why stop, nigga? <laughs> you feel me? Why stop? You feel me? So the Shady Boy shit going. As you can see, this one is the Mexico joint. I did this one for Cinco de Mayo and shit. But uh, you know, shit like this. You know, do different shit, but uh, the same design, just different items. We'll probably tweak it a little bit, type of shit. But just tune in, man. Go follow Shady Mob Clothing on Instagram. Yeah, I remember you even gave me like one of those in the teal too. You had this yeah, shit. I had the teal, the San yeah. Hope, Shark Edition. I had, I don't, I don't even know what's in the back of uh, You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Mainly Migos in the hood shit, but every, all classic shit. Like this one, I think we ain't really do much of these. That's the, that's the one right there. That one, the that's, the, that's the one, yeah. You, Zoom in to that motherfucker. That motherfucker crispy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, though, man. What's it like performing out of state? I mean, shit. Sometimes, bro, keep it 100. It depends where you at, bro. Cause sometimes it be a, it might be a crowd, and sometimes it might not be a crowd. You feel me? So it and I didn't have both happen before. Like I didn't perform where it wasn't really a lot of people like that, and then we. Went back and again it was you know it was it was you know more it was crowd it was a little more crowded type of shit so um, you just gotta be ready though too though you feel me like you gotta be able to uh, uh, get the same energy too though you feel me like you gotta be able to like all right shit you know a lot of people didn't show up you feel me you still gotta like all right you ready to rock yeah you still gotta rock like nigga I ain't come all the way over here to just say no like to not perform like i'm still performing you know? yeah. and we didn't have situations happen like that where we pull up and there wasn't really a lot of people like that and then i was like fuck man like we already out here like you know push fuck it you come in and we'll perform so you still gotta have the same energy and shit so. but sometimes it'd be it'd be dope as fuck though you feel me and then, sometimes you just, it's just about how it's just about what you make out of it too though Cause it might not be a lot of people, but it's on how you get that show and you perform, you feel me? And then after you get off stage, you probably have a few people like, hey, my nigga, like, you feel me? Off the stage type of shit. But I don't know, bro, it's just on how you take it, and, and, and you feel me? But I, I think it's dope just to even be able to leave your state and perform. Like, nigga, why? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause even when you do shit in the Bay Area, motherfuckers don't be pulling up like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People people always say in the Bay Area, whenever you do shit in the Bay, we pulling up. Nigga, you do something? <laughs> Come on, you Damn, feel me? So up, if you could do that shit out of state and then, you know, it's it's about what you what you make out of it. So You bring your merch with you too? I try to. I bring a suitcase. The goal is to at least sell half of it, nigga, or Trying to sell it all, you feel me? But I be taking like a suitcase or a little backpack for the yeah. shit, like whatever I got left type of shit. But then lately I, I ain't really been like, been like, oh, I'm about to pull up over here, you feel me? I just randomly pop up and shit. Like, 
I'm here. 24 hours. If they see it, they see it. If not, <laughs> you feel me? You miss me, buddy. You feel me? I'm out. But, um, but hell yeah, I take that shit though everywhere. Anywhere I go. Couple about shirts. The coast on it. Man, you feel me? It's under construction right now, man. Coast on it under construction. Um, when it do come, it's going to be at a dispensary near you. Just know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just know that. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's, your, what's your favorite strain to smoke on right now? Uh, right now, man, I'm smoking on some Lifted, man. I was smoking on some Mochi. Gave me some Mochi, man. They gave me they gave me some, you feel me, a good amount of Mochi. So, you know, that's what I've been rolling up. I've been smoking on some Lifted. Uh, shout out Lifted Farms. If it ain't Lifted, it ain't Gifted. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Hell yeah. This young one, we with the pull up. Oakland's own young chop. Yes, sir. Westbound ENT, bro Jackson was handing. Appreciate you, man. Hell yeah. Bye, son. Hell yeah, hell yeah.